Hello, good morning, my dear Matayum 1 students. How are you today? I hope that you're doing fine. Now, uh, today we're going to continue our lesson on addition and subtraction of fractions. So today we're going to learn about the addition and subtraction of proper fractions. Okay, so we have here um, examples of proper fractions that we're going to add or subtract. Okay, so we know that proper fraction, these are the fractions that the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Okay, so you can see here we have 2 over 3, 1 over 5, we have 5 over 7, we have 1 over 6. So these are all proper fractions. Okay, now and how we can add this one? So we can add this, we're going to check first the denominator. So denominator will have its common what would be the common denominator between these two, 3 and 5? So by the help of the LCM or the least common multiple, now we will know what, we, what is the common denominator between 3 and 5. And that is, what is the LCM of 3 and 5? That is 15. So meaning to say that we're going to use 15 as our common denominator. Okay? So we have here this one so in order to get 15 for the first fraction 3 we're going to multiply that by 5 okay so we're going to multiply on both numerator and denominator by 5 okay now on the other side we have 1 over 5 for 5 to, to make it 15 we multiply by 3 so as well as with the numerator we multiply that by 3 okay now from that we simplify 2 times 5 is 10, we have 3 times 5 is 15, 1 times 3 is 3, and 5 times 3 is 15, okay? So again, for this time, since that our denominator are the same, okay? So we can add now our uh, numerator. So we have 10 plus 3 is 13 over 15. So therefore, the sum of these two proper fraction, 2 over 3 plus 1 over 5, is equal to 13 over 15. 15. Okay? You don't understand, my? Now we go to the second one. We have 5 over 7 minus 1 over 6. Okay? So we have here again 7 and 6. So we cannot add this because our denominator are not the same. So we need to know first what is the common denominator between 6 and 7 or the LCM. No? So what is the LCM between 6 and 7? That is 42. Okay? So you have here now, to, uh, for 7, to get 42, we multiply that by 6. So, as well as with the numerator, we multiply by 6. So, 5 times 6. And we have here 1 over 6. For that, we multiply by 7. Okay? So, here we multiply by 7. And we simplify this. 5 times 6 is 30. We have here 7 times 6 is 42. And 1 times 7 is 7. 6 times 7 is 42. Okay? So, you will see here that our denominator are the same. Ready? So, we can add now our numerator. So for this one is subtraction, 30 minus 7, that would be 23. So therefore, the, uh, the difference between 5 over 7 minus 1 over 6 is equal to 23 over 42. Did you understand my? Okay, so we have here more example. This one. We have here the fractions 5 over 8 minus 1 over 4 minus 2 over 5. Okay. Now we have here three fractions, three proper fractions. So we need to know first, what is the LCM? What would be the common denominator between these three? Okay, so by the help of LCM, the least common multiple, we will know what would be the denominator, okay, for these three. And that is 40, okay? That is the LCM between 4, 5, and 8. That is 40, okay? Now, so we start with 5 over 8. So to make it 40, we multiply that by 5. 8 times 5 is 40, right? So as well as with the numerator, 5 times 5. Then here, the second one is 1 over 4. So to get 40, we multiply that by 10. Okay, as well as here, the numerator, we multiply by 10. And the last one, we have 2 over 5. We will multiply that by 8 to make it 40, right? So again, with the numerator, 2 times 8 is 16. So we simplify, 5 times 5 is 25, 8 times 5 is 40, 
1 times 10 is a 10. We have here 4 times 10 is 40. And 2 times it is 16. And 5 times it is 40. So you will see here that our denominator are all the same. We have 40, right? So we can add or subtract now the numerator. So we start with the first one, 25 minus 10 is 15. Okay? Then that would be uh, plus 15, positive 15 minus 16 will give you minus 1. So therefore, our sum or difference of this three fractional proper fraction is equal to negative 1 over 40. Okay? So you can also do that in, in this way, okay? So you will have the, the uh, list common multiple, multiple, which is 40, okay? So you would just divide 40 divided by 8 gives you 5, right? Then you multiply it by the numerator, 5 times 5 is 25, you have here. Or 40 divided by 4, that is uh, 10. And we multiply it by 1, it gives you 10, okay? And the last one, 40 divided by 5, it gives you 8 times 2, gives you 16. So the same as this one, right? So you will get also the same answer, that is negative 1 over 40. Did you understand my question? Okay, we have your one more example. This one. You have number 4, 1 over 5, plus 5 over 6, uh, minus 1 over 10. Okay? So for this one, we have 5, 6, and 10. So we're, uh, we need to know first what is the LCM, and that is 30, right? 30 is the LCM of 5, 6, and 10, okay? So we have first for 1 over 5. To make it 30, we multiply that by 6, right? So we multiply also by 6 with the numerator, plus 5 over 6, we multiply by 5, okay, to make it 30 as well as with the numerator, 5 times 5, and the last one is 1 over 10, okay? We multiply that by 3 to make it 30, right? And as well as with the numerator, by 3. Now we simplify that. 1 times 6 is 6, 5 times 5 is 25, and 1 times 3 is 3, okay? So we have here with the numerator denominator, we have 5 times 6, 6 times 5, and 10 times 3, they're all 30, okay? So by this, so since that our denominator are all the same right okay they are 30 30 30 we can add now and subtract the numerator so start with 6 plus 25 it will give you 31 minus 3 will give you 28 okay so we have your 28 over 30 now we can simplify this with a common value of 2 right you have 2 so 28 divided by 2 gives you 14 and 30 divided by 2 is 15 Okay, so we cannot simplify this further. So therefore, the uh, answer for this, three fractional, proper fraction, we have here 14 over 15. Okay, so did you understand my question? Do you have a question, my? No, say my? Okay, so that's all for today. And uh, we're going to continue more examples about the addition and subtraction of different fraction in the next meeting. Okay, so see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.